And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell and today we're taking a look at Pank. Now Pank is the newest entry in a style of games called Roll and Write, in which you roll dice and then you write something out of the sheet. Not necessarily a new style of game since Yahtzee's been doing this for a long time. Now Pank had me both simultaneously attracted to the game and not so much. I mean, this cover just looks like bad graphic design, it does. But Simone Luciani is the designer of this and he's made some of my favorite games. So I was like, all right, I'll ignore the cover. It's just a roll and write after all. Here's how it plays. In this game, each player is going to have their own piece of paper that looks like this, and the player is going to take turns one after the other, and they're going to be rolling dice. So on your turn, you're going to roll these six dice. Now the dice have six sides, one through five, and then Jolly, who's kind of like a wild here. Once you've rolled dice, you can pick some to keep. So let's say, for example, I'm going to pick the four and one of the Jollies, and I'll re-roll the rest. And I can do that twice, so that I'll keep that four, and then I'll re-roll the rest. So once you're done re-rolling, you're then going to circle things here on the sheet based on what you've rolled. This is the number of dice and this is the number. So I can take Jolly and two fours and say this is three fours. So go to four, down to three fours and circle that. I can't use another Jolly to make four fours because each Jolly can only be used once in a group and they can't be used by themselves. So what I would do in this particular instance is I would say I have a group of three fours. I would circle this. I have a group of two threes. So I go across here to threes, circle that. And I have one one and circle this here. The most groups you can circle on a turn is three. So let's say this was a five. I could do three fours, a five and a three, or a five and a one, but I couldn't do all four groups. Now. The, poor, the purpose of this game is to get points. To get points, you're going to need to have three circles in a column or a row. If you do so, you'll get the number of points here, one, two, three, five, or eight, and so on and so forth. When someone completely finishes a row, so let's say I finish all the ones, at that point, everyone else must cross off any ones that they have not yet done. So the first person to finish rows is going to have a chance to block other people from trying to score in that row. That's going to especially matter in the top two. If on your turn you roll dice and you cannot fill up something, you can't mark anything because of previous things and you just didn't roll the right things, then you have to X out an entire column. Finish up, you know, so maybe I have the, this, this, and this marked in the column. I would have to X out the other two that I have not yet X'd out. When one player has completely X'd out two columns, or circle two columns, they finish two columns, then the game will end. One person will have marked this jolly symbol and there's to show the first player, so everyone gets the same number of turns. You'll then add each row and column, the numbers that you've scored, but only if you have three or more, and then add those totals, and whoever gets the highest amount is the winner of the game. The cheats for this game are fine, they look great. The I already mentioned I'm not a fan of this box cover at all. The dice are okay. They're light wooden dice, which don't roll that well anyway. The Jolly figures, if you look at them nice and closely, you can see that it's a die exclamation point or whatever it is. But from a distance, they just look like they are... Um, we, we, I don't know, they just look like they're not finished. And I don't know why the numbers aren't centered on these dice. Notice the fives are off there. All the numbers seem to be off-centered. It's especially noticeable on the fours. Not a huge thing, but when a game only has dice and a sheet, you want the components to be a little better. So there you go, Pank. Now, there's some interesting features of this. There is a, I think, small flaw that whoever goes first seemingly has an advantage. If I can get the ones crossed off the, the one cop, I could do that pretty quickly. I could roll a three, five, and a one on my first turn and just look for the, the four and a two on my second turn. And then you don't ever get to do those on the second turn. I, I don't know if I like that as much. I don't, also don't know if it's a huge deal because if you're doing that, you're not going for the Yahtzee, the four of a kind, five of a kind, etc. 
I do like the idea of that, though. I like the idea of rolling and trying to block other players, but also trying to get three in the same column. Like, if I get five fours, that's great. That's going to be a lot of points. But only if I get fours two more times in that column. And so you're constantly trying to get the same number at roll after roll. This is a quick game. We're talking 15 minutes. You're going to roll, do some things, mark some things down. My concerns about this game are... I like it. It's a fine game. I wouldn't turn a copy of it down. I don't know that it differentiates itself enough from other roll and write games. First of all, it does differentiate itself in that there's a little bit of attacking other players and blocking columns and rows, but it's extremely lucky. I mean, all these games are usually rolling dice. This one seems more lucky than most. In fact, I would say Yahtzee has more strategy than this one in the long run. So there's some extreme luck to it, and there's the, the components aren't that fantastic, as i shown you. And when both those things are like that, then the game better really stand out in some other ways, and it doesn't. It's also going to feel fairly samey. You're trying to get a lot of the same number. And again, Yahtzee kind of already has that covered. Now, I'm not saying necessarily Yahtzee's better than this, but I think they're kind of on the same level. They're just different ways to do the same thing. So. Again, it's kind of a game now. Hey, we got some time to blow. Sure, we'll roll some dice, go them up and see who wins. But at the end of the day, I'm not sure the winner played much better than me. They just tended to roll a little better. And while that's probably fine enough for a 15-minute game, there's a lot of these that are coming out in, in 2018. And so this one I don't think separates itself from the pack enough. Dice Tower of Judgment, an okay roll and write game.